one is that need to activate cash management by using the by using the OT29 is the transaction code. Then the second one is need to activate activate business function. Okay, what is that business function? Okay, so if we activate this business function only, then only the cash management, it will work. Okay, if you have pin underscore FSCM underscore CLM. This is the business function. We must have to activate the business function. Okay, how to activate the business function? Then come here, <coughs> go to SPRO transaction code, then <coughs> IMG. Then here now you can see here activate business function. The option you can see here activate business functions. Now you can see here the system is <coughs> click on continue. Click on continue and now enterprise business functions the folder second folder. OK, then click on this one. Now you can able to identify the function. OK, <coughs> the business function fin underscore FSCM underscore CLM. See now you can see here fin underscore FSCM underscore FS CLM. This is the cash management function. It is already been activated. Now, if this function it is not not yet activated, what you can do just double click here. Click on <coughs> click on changes. Now the status if the function okay, which is not in active state. Okay, thus for the function, what we could see here is the standby mode. It will be there. The system will show as a standby mode. Then click on the change display. Then just enter. Now you can bring back the status from standby to activation state, then save it. Okay, that's it. The business function will get activated. Okay, because since already somebody has been activated. Okay, so that is the reason again and again. I'm not going to activate this one. Okay, so this is the one the business function. We must have to activate for cash management. Then only the system will work. Otherwise system. Okay, the cash management functionality. It will not. It will not work. Okay, remember. <clears throat> then. RLs that is the one feasibility we have. Then what you can do, you just select this checkbox. Okay, then click on the activation changes also so that the system will activate that one. Okay, either you can double click and go inside and do the changes, then you can directly select this checkbox like this. That select the checkbox and click on the activation option so that what system does it is going to activate 